Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome back to more. They are billions. We are playing in the Frozen Highlands map at the maximum possible difficulty. And at the very tail end of the last video, we had an unexpected attack from a mutant over in this direction. Um, I mean, we, we knew there was a mutant there. I just didn't think he was going to come over here as quickly as he did. So we took a fair bit of damage. Fortunately, we were able to uh, get ourselves back under control. We had our units somewhat nearby, so this could have been a heck of a lot worse. I count myself somewhat lucky. Let's continue getting ourselves more upgrades to our housing. We are going to need a lot of food. Food is going to be at a premium for a while. Uh, we're kind of running out of space. It's one of the reasons I want to take this area over here. There's a lot of delectable farmland. And uh, that could be useful. I'll take literally every, every little bit I can get. We should also make sure we continue getting some more power. I'd like to get as many mills as I can. Uh, mills are generally still considered to be the cheapest option. So they're the ones I want to go for instead of burning through my entire wood supply. I'm going to delete some of these defenses. We can move forward. What do we have here? hi Titans! I'll take two Titans. The mighty Titan is here. Hold on. These guys are great. I like Titans. Titans are fun. Let's go ahead and bring these guys down over here, and we'll let them assist for a little bit. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try pushing all the way down to the southern end of the map because we're really close to an infected giant already. And I might as well take this area and move the defenses forward if I can, so that's kind of what I'm going for on that front. Yeah, these titans are loud, but really strong. We like these guys. We like these guys a lot. By the way, speaking of noise, so um, something I found out about this map I did not know, um, but I saw a comment about it, so I was surprised to find this out. Apparently, this is considered to be one of the easiest maps that is in the game. Uh, not the easiest, one of the easiest, which is deceptive, given that, you know, in this game, um, it's the third highest score modifier, I believe? Third highest? That sounds about right. So yeah, you would expect this to be far more difficult. The reason it's considered to be easy uh, is not because, you know, you have to pay extra power and you have a lot of food shortages. That is certainly an issue. But there are less infected on this map, which is fine. I knew that was the case. But apparently noise doesn't travel as far on this map either. Which is interesting. I don't know if it means that the intensity of the noise is muffled or if um, the radius is greatly reduced. It's one of the two. But the point being, apparently, we had a lot more leeway with that particular um, mutants, those mutants, than we should have on any other map. It's the reason that the Desert Wasteland is considered to be the hardest map in the game, right? More than the Caustic Lands. Because noise travels really, really far. And that is a big freaking deal in this game. Which is kind of hilarious, because this game really doesn't tell you that it's such a big deal. It doesn't really give you any indication that no, what, how, like how to find out how much noise you're making, um, and how to mitigate that noise. You just kind of have to figure that out. So for a game where that's so important, it's a little bit comical to me, honestly, just a little bit comical. But there you go. Wasn't planning on being on one of the easiest maps, but it's fine. I'm okay with being on one of the easiest because, uh, well, you know, I haven't played this game in a very, very long time. So for a triumphant return. Sure, why not? We'll play on one of the easier maps. Let's get a bank over here before I forget. There we go. Boost of gold income so we can continue building out our neighborhood. Notice we're drawing a lot of attention here. These titans are really loud. I'm a little nervous we're going to accidentally draw the attention of the giants when I wasn't ready. That might be a small problem. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know where the zombies are going to be approaching from, by the way. We only have a few hours to find out. They could be approaching from the south. That would be very convenient if they did. They could also approach from literally any other direction. But this is where my troops are, so I'd prefer the south. They are coming from the south. Oh, what do you know? All right, are they coming from this south or this south? Because those are very different things. It's very important I know which one. Right, well, it's a good thing we're already getting the Tesla towers already over here. So this is going to be fine. Let's plan on... Let's plan on some great ballista, probably a couple over there. I am out of wood because of course I am. All right, let's just go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of stone walls over like this. Honestly, they'll probably hit me around here if they have to come around the lake or they're going to hit me right here. Either way, we'll pull back in a minute. We, we've got a few hours to figure this out. And it's not like the hordes move very quickly. They're very slow. So we'll have a chance to get some walls up. I'm not feeling too worried about it. And in the meantime, we can't neglect the economy. I need to keep getting some iron and stuff. That's kind of important for me right now. Uh, also, we're out of oil. What does that do for my titans? 
Let's go ahead and research the oil platform. I assume these guys don't disband. If you run out of gold, I think your units do disband on you. I assume these guys just do a lot less damage or something? Or maybe there's a timer I'm not aware of uh, or something. By the way, they are approaching from right here. Perfect. Okay, so they're definitely going to hit me right over here. So let's um, let's move my snipers in position. And hopefully we don't draw the giant. Though, honestly, if we do, it's not the end of the world. Because I'm already in a good defensive position. This should be fine. Let's just go ahead and place down a few stake traps for good measure. Just to make sure that we're okay. All right, here they come. Exactly where I was hoping they were going to. This is perfect. The Titan should easily be able to handle this. I got nothing to worry about. Yeah, these guys are mowing down pretty quick. Titans are great. Good long range, lots of splash damage. Thanatos can be better in some circumstances, but these guys are way more mobile. I like having an army of these things. And that was one very easy wave for us. Perfect. No problem at all. Okay, we've got a Tesla Tower over here. Next thing to do, place down some walls in a few good spots. Uh, namely because giants are kind of stupid, and it's kind of easy to get them trapped on some walls, especially if you kind of stagger them out like this. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. They have a pretty long range with their attacks, and I think they do splash damage. Which is why there's not a lot of point in clustering the walls very tightly. If we can do something like this, this should be fine. So I'm just going to clear this area out over here. Then we'll start trying to draw his attention. Oh, God, the giant's already here. Crap. All right, good thing we have uh, some walls in position. I may need to do some very aggressive kiting. Um, can you guys actually deal with the harpy and stuff that's over here? All right, get ready to run. No, oh, that didn't work. All right. Um, like I said, he's got a pretty long reach. <laughs> All right, the good news is he's stuck enough on some walls. We might be okay. Uh, you guys need to go defend me. You guys really need to take him down. What are you doing? Come on, let him go crazy on the walls. The walls are fine. There's actually stone walls and stuff over here too, so like we're actually going to be okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go ahead and hit that ballista. Go ahead and hit that ballista. He's got a lot more health than I expected. There we go, and he should be down, and that should be dealing with all the other infected in the area, and we're good to go. And actually, let's just go ahead and delete these. I no longer need them. Okay, uh, we lost one ranger, and we took a little damage in areas I wasn't expecting, but we were apparently slightly too loud. Which, you know what? That's fine. That's what I deserve. So we should be at the very edge of the map at this point. Let's uh, try to get all the way down here with our Tesla network. We'll set up some basic walls. And we should be able to just hold this area for the rest of the game, in theory. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send all these guys back home. Because we need to get ready to go deal with things like the Doom Village. And I can leave behind these snipers to just clear this area out. And we should be fine, in theory. We need power. Badly do we need more power. We're always going to need more power, won't we? It's fine, it's fine. Since we got a lot more lumber coming in, I'll go ahead and start getting myself more of these power plants. That's fine. Research the advanced mill as well. I can see that being very, very useful for us. There's a radar tower I can grab over here if I want. This would actually give me a ton of vision in the area if I can take this. This wouldn't be a bad thing to have. We can delete it later. Hello! Lots of tiny little groups are coming in. This is why you wall the edge of the map and give yourself some ballistas so you're immune to these kinds of little attacks. Also, grab those oil wells I was looking for. That should take care of our lovely titans. I'm not moving the titans forward right now because I'm a little bit concerned that the noise will attract too many of the zombies from the Doom Village. That would be a problem if I can't handle it right now. Also, we have a wave approaching in about one day or so. Okay. Uh, I mean, we're probably okay, but I definitely can't clear out the Doom Village right now. So let's find out where the next wave's coming from. We'll keep our units kind of close to the center so we can react in any direction. And then as soon as that wave is dealt with, we'll make a beeline for the Doom Village. There we go. We're going to go ahead and repair this radar tower. These guys are doing a great job of clearing these areas out. There's the radar. Whoa! Look at the red on this map. <laughs> There's the giant, by the way. All right, so we know exactly where he is. That's going to make my life a smidge easier. We can see the size of the Doom Village. It's not massive. It's all right. Yeah, we can handle it. Oh, gosh. I just realized we are capped out on money. Ah! You shouldn't do that. Uh, let's get the advanced quarry and stuff going. Um, can we get any more houses upgraded? Yes. Let's do that. 
Let's train more snipers until we are completely out of food, and then let's get more food. This lake alone, by the way, is worth a ton of food. We can get so many fishing huts. I love it. Yeah, I want to push, but I can't. I know that if I do, I'm going to draw way too much attention right now. The best I can hope to do is just clear a bit of space around over here, and we'll come back to this later on. Ugh. Well, it's day 51. We're eight hours in. Still no sign of where the next wave is going to hit us. It's from the north. It's probably going to be in the same area over here, west right here. South, kind of weird to have to relocate down here. East, definitely over here. Yeah, we're getting a pretty good handle for where the zombies can come from. West! Okay, they're coming from over here. Good. All right, now we know what we're looking for. Um... Let's, let's go ahead and reorganize some defenses over here and use stone walls this time. Wooden walls just ain't going to cut it at this stage of the game. This is actually really convenient because that's two waves in a row where my troops were already in the right general vicinity. Considering how slow snipers are, it's kind of my biggest fear that my army is not going to be where I need them to be. And on the maximum difficulty, the waves come so very frequently. Like, it's, it's really hard to stop. All right, do we want to keep this radar tower? Yeah, it's gonna get destroyed, but we don't have to demolish it. I can repair it later. And I like having eyes on the giants. It gives me an idea what to look for. Also, it should give me an advanced warning if the mutant starts coming after us at some point. I can see that being useful too. All right, so yeah, there goes the radar. No big deal. We're gonna place a shocking tower over here because these things are phenomenal at taking down lots of the tiny little guys. If you can get them all to cluster up in one big spot. Small little infected will stand no chance whatsoever. Honestly, my bigger concern here is that we're going to accidentally draw too many of the Doom Village guys from just sheer noise. If you get attacked by all of this at the same time, that's an issue. But I think we'll be alright. I'm really not worried about this wave. I think we're in a really good spot right now. Yep, here they come. And between the Titans, three levels of stone walls, all the snipers, we're, we're fine. No threat, no problem. Definitely drawing the Doom Village, though. Notice this. Yeah, they're starting to stream down pretty hard over here. That's exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. Good thing we have all these troops in position, so we can definitely survive the counterattack and take them down. And that should deal with all of those. Perfect. Alrighty. Uh, in that case, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for an attack move command and start pushing toward the village. It's gonna be a little bit tough because they're gonna keep sending reinforcements after us, but it's fine. Slowly but surely, we can win this game of tug of war with what I've got. Now the good thing about taking down some of these Doom Village buildings is they're gonna leave behind a bunch of resources that I can take, which I obviously do much appreciate. And by the way, there's some free power over here. I will want that. Uh, let's grab those and come back. 40 power would help me a little bit right now. Over here, we've almost finished clearing out this entire general area of the map. I want to set up some walls and stuff over here, just like I did in the other area. And we'll have a couple of ballista towers to defend. One thing that can be helpful, by the way, sometimes your guys are going to get so stuck on shooting the nearby zombies, they don't go for the buildings. It's okay to take a small group of, like, let's say four or five snipers and just manually target a building. The rest will still cover them, and you take down some of the spawners. I'm going to get the Engineering Center unlocked. That'll let me start getting some more Titans and some Thanatos. And we all know how much I love getting those. And let's go ahead and start building out the Tesla network and stuff out here as well, as much as we can. I do need to have another residential area. I kind of think that replacing the Doom Village with my own village might not be a bad idea. It seems like there's a lot of wide open space. But if I'm going to do that, I need to spread my uh, control out enough that I can protect myself against the two mutants up in these corners, because they're still out there. I'm getting a little concerned with how close the giant is over in this corner, by the way. We are not ready to deal with the giant right, right here. I know it's there. It's, 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 it's not visible, but it's there. The scary thing about having titans is when I do get the mutants' attention... Uh, they're probably both gonna come after me. Honestly, I think there's a very good chance that that happens. We're getting close to capped out on resources again. Alright, I now have the engineering center, though, at least. That's good. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get myself some extra, like, warehouses and stuff in a few places. You know? Just kind of boost up some capacity. I don't have a ton of that. Whoa, 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 I think the mutant's actually on its way right now. Frick, I was not prepared. Ah, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, okay. Good morning, sir. Titans, you are going to need to tank for this. This is dangerous as heck. 
Um, all right, let's let's split these guys up. Uh, you guys are all going to be on attack move commands. You guys move over here. There it is. All right, that's what I was afraid of. Titan, can you guys get him quickly? Please don't lose a Titan. I'm a little bit worried about that. The Titan can handle it. Ah, oh, we can tank the mutants. We're fine. It's day 56. Are we going to be able to conquer the entirety of the map by day 65? Still doesn't seem very likely, though I think we're getting closer and closer to that goal being possible. I'm just going to try to draw the mutant over here so I don't have to worry about it. Then we can kind of reposition and figure out how we want to systematically expand. One thing that wouldn't be bad is actually to get myself a bunch of soldiers, but I'll just get myself more snipers instead. We'll have a second kill squad going around and just dealing with all of these little guys. Um, soldiers are not bad at actually clearing zombies, as a general rule. They're really not too bad. But enough snipers, a critical mass of snipers is just better. There are a lot of big scary enemies coming through this tiny little choke point right here. And I just lost a sniper for it too. Yeah, I can't shoot around trees as effectively as I might like. Uh, I want to deal with the harpies so I can pull back for a second. Hold on, hold on. You guys are getting a little big, big for your britches. There we go. Now we should be able to funnel them and deal with them. The mutant up here is very resistant. He's hiding in the corner of the map. He doesn't want to come fight me. He's afraid. Or at least that is what I choose to believe. Let's continue expanding the walls out over here, by the way, so we can control another edge of the map right here and we can get move these defenses forward no big deal oh and let's um let's get ourselves the engineering center i need more energy of course i need more energy and we're about to get attacked again from the west hmm. all right well i still have all my defenses here um i meant to actually grab this iron and i totally forgot dang it um yeah i think we're still okay i just have to now pull back Ugh. It's actually super frustrating, too. We were this close to drawing the mutant, so I don't have to worry about having everything together up over here, but no. He hid from me as much as he could so that I couldn't get to him. Smart for him. Sucks for me. Kind of would have been nice to have, like, some Thanatos as well, wouldn't it? Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and get myself an engineering center somewhere. Um, we know we're going to need at least one of these things. Uh, can't get the Thanatos research, so we're going to do what with our gold? Radar tower, executor towers, eh, blah, 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 blah. Nah, we're just going to go ahead and start building out more houses. Yeah, it's a pretty big wave heading this way. I'm honestly not worried about it, though. Defenses, as we have, are still completely fine. We can handle it. All we do is lose the vision of our radar tower. I don't expect we lose pretty much anything else. Yeah, they've barely managed to break through anything here. We might lose, like, one layer of walls. Maybe. Maybe. If that. Alright, the engineering center's up and running. Let's research the Thanatos um, mutants. We can get mutants of our own? That's new. Uh, okay. And then, of course, the Titan. 6,000 gold. It's a little expensive to get these guys. But they're really good, as you guys may have noticed. Anyway, let's get back up over here and actually get that dang mutant's attention. Get over here! I'm also going to go ahead and create some extra kill squads that can run independently of this, so now I can start pushing three separate groups across the map at the same time. And if I can start securing some of these pockets of the map over here, that would be ideal. So I can start building out that extra residential neighborhood that I know I'm looking for. If we have a lot of extra money, it wouldn't be a bad plan to also start getting things like... Silent Beholder, Crystal Palace, Wonders, and stuff. Though I need a lot more iron if we're going to make that work. Being attacked on a lot of different directions right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a mutant. That's a mutant heading over here right now. Hold the phone. Uh, soldier, I don't think you're going to be able to defend against this. Um, can you get his attention? Draw him over here. The soldier may die. Then again, he may not. All right, snipers, start hitting him. Kites, kites. No, don't hit my quarry. Dang you. Ah, whatever. All right, fine. We lost the quarry temporarily, and I got rid of the mutants in that corner. Good. And here comes the other one up over here. Hold the phone. Snipers pull back. We already know that the Titans can do the kiting. And now we just deal with you guys over here. I need you guys to pull back so you don't get hit by the swiping. There we go. All right, that should deal with the last of them. Hey, mutants are down, ladies and gentlemen. Only giants remain. Let's go ahead and start building out some Thanatos, since I'm sitting on a lot of money. 
Uh, I'll send them all over here for the moment, and we can continue training up more snipers if I want to. Wouldn't be bad. Let's go ahead and research the Titan with all that excess gold. I'm doing phenomenally on things like stone production. It's iron that's killing me. I can get some small upgrades here and there on advanced quarries, but they're not enough. Uh, oh, great. There's another Doom Village over here. Well, hello. I did not expect that. Great. Another thing we got to go deal with. It's fine. This is the veteran group to deal with anyway. So uh, we can start making our way over here slowly. I don't know how big this one's going to be, but hopefully it is manageable. Man, there really are a lot of them over here. We're drawing tons of attention. I still have to be cognizant of the two giants remaining. If I can get rid of the giants, I really can just go wherever I want on the map, and we're fine. Nothing to worry about here. Oh, so close. Almost got this last village down. Just a tiny bit more. There we go. Problem solved. Economy is looking stupidly good. And we need to go ahead and get ourselves some more residential. So let's plan on a new market. Out of workers. All right, we'll plan down banks and stuff in a minute. For now, let's just go ahead and start getting the housing. And we're about to be attacked from the north. Okay. Knowing that's the case, we will need to start pulling these guys back. Crap. Where am I gonna do a defense? Right over here, maybe. Yeah, I feel like I feel like right up over here is probably the best we're gonna get. So let's plan on doing some serious walling off over here. We'll pull back over there. We'll get ourselves a shock tower or two in a couple of good spots, followed by at least a couple of grand ballistas. And as long as we can get all of these troops back behind the wall, I think we're fine. Harpies! No! Let's keep in mind I also have some extra Thanatos and Titans available right now. Not really feeling like I'm going to need them right now, though. Should be all right. Yeah, they're gonna hit me exactly where I thought they were going to. Right over here. This should be completely fine. We're almost capped on income again, dear God. Ba -ba -da -da -ba, and they're gonna funnel through this teeny little area. And these guys are actually overflowing around the trees. They're not even facing the right direction. There they go, they're starting to figure it out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This actually could be a very fun, defensible choke point uh, for the final wave. I don't even think these guys are, like, touching the walls. That's how effective this is. Wow. Gosh, is this wave done yet? This thing's lasted for forever. And I just realized that the final wave is on the way. Okay, you know, I think this is a good place for us to end this video. The next video may end up being a bit short. Uh, day 65. Do we control almost the entirety of the map? Yes. The western side is the only one we don't. We have enough time to deal with the giants and keep expanding and get some good defenses up and running before the final wave hits. Though we're getting a little on the close side, um, and I would really still like to get some of these wonders. Would any of these really make a huge difference for us right now? I don't know, maybe. Maybe like the Crystal Palace and stuff. Eh, sure, we'll go ahead and research some stuff like that. And yeah, let's go ahead and research that Executor Tower. Uh, could be helpful. It's an upgrade for the Ballista, and we might need it in a few places. All right, the final wave is still gonna be really difficult. We have a pretty good army. We are in a good position. But my economy is still not strong enough to mean I can just build with impunity. We still need to move fast in the next few days. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.